We need to do something for Christmas. How about a few pranks? What's up guys, it's the Doze and welcome to the 5 Pranks of Christmas. I would like to do the 12 Pranks of Christmas so we can like roll off the 12 Days of Christmas. This is all I could come up with and I literally just came up with this uh, idea the other night. And since we only got 5 days left till Christmas, we're going to do daily videos every single day, a prank a day. And also, since it's such early or late notice, um, I'm kind of just, they're not going to be Christmas themed necessarily. Some of them might be, but we're going to prank 5 people daily videos every day between today the 20th up to the 25th on christmas and hopefully on the 20 on christmas day we can do something cool so let's get right into this the first person we are going to prank is going to be game and soy he's our first target i'm mainly going to be targeting um people who do youtube just because I, it's because i want to see it happen uh, i want to see the reveal in the video chances are they might see these videos before they come up which is usually not what i try to do. I, I usually like to let them f uh, find out about it before I post the video, but these might go up beforehand. So, and I'm still figuring out pranks of what to do on certain people, but this one is going to be, and I would like to get a clip, but again, this is uh, kind of late notice, um, but a while ago, we pranked him, me and Jack pranked him, and we placed water all over his house. Uh, like like this. We had a, We had a block down like that, place the ice on top of it, and then the ice would melt, and the water would stay there. I'm sure you guys might have seen that video. Um, and when he did his reaction video to that, one of his comments was, Jack and Doza, joke's on you. I'm a fish. I like water. Oh, you like water so much, do you, fish man? So much. Well, I'm going to build him a fish tank around his base. So this might take a while, so we're going to do a lot of jump cuts. The videos all this week might be short. I'm um, hoping they might be, because it's going to be daily videos, and I don't want you guys to fall too far behind or uh, feel overwhelmed by videos. So we're going to do some jump cuts. I'm going to go over to his house. I got a whole bunch of glass. I got some building blocks and some ice. And uh, let's, let's, let's go build him a fish tank around his house, shall we? All right, so I got a little bit of a template worked out. Um, now this is completely freestyling it. I'm not... Usually I would do, if I'm doing things like this, usually I do on creative first, so it looks really nice. Um, but this is what we got for now, just as a template. I'm not sure how good it's going to look. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with it. I might go back and grab some wool and uh, try to like build a fish inside that. I probably will do that. Maybe try to I like plant a tree in there. So it looks like there's some nice, uh, nice things inside this aquarium. So now let's start filling in the glass. I kind of want to make this as round as I can, but I'm not sure how well it's going to turn out. The important thing is that it looks enough like a fish tank. It's not as high as I want it to be. I thought of this a while ago. I was going to build a fish tank out of this side of the mountain and uh, out of that side of the mountain. But I think right here should be fine. Um, and also I should mention that throughout this week we'll also be doing some collaborations in between the videos. Uh, or in the videos, i um, going to do some decorating for Christmas around Spawn and all that stuff. Uh, and then we're going to be doing pranks in between. So now I'm going to start filling in the glass. Let me see how I should do this. I think I should bring this out one here. I want to leave the door open too so he can get in, in and out of this place. I hear footsteps. Maybe not. Somebody left a, a blue penis here, by the way. I'm not sure who did that. Got to leave signs, guys. If you're pranking, you got to leave signs. It's part of the rules. So we knew, so we know who we got to get back. All right, so that's going to be the first thing, and then maybe I'm, I'm not worried about wasting my silk touch. Actually, I should probably do I have my yeah. I'm gonna make it rounded out a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is what we got going so far. I'm gonna fill the glass in. I got a bunch of ice, then we'll fill in the water, and then we'll see if we can put some little decorations inside the fish tank itself. Okay, so I got a lot of the glass in. I think I got a good shape worked out. Just got to go through and make sure there's no holes in this tank. I only got a couple sides worked out, but I think it's it's going to be pretty good. It's really hard to s make sure everything is, uh, is you know, even and uh, symmetrical as far as the shape goes and everything. It's hard to do when it, with transparent glass. <laughs> what, what, I don't know what glass isn't transparent. Stained glass? Anyways. Um, it's looking pretty good. It'll look a little bit better once we fill it with water. And I still need to go back and grab some... Uh, 
some wool to build some fishes in there and plant a nice little tree in there for him. And then fill the whole thing with water, of course. You probably won't be able to see very well into the place once it's filled with water. I could do, I, sh I could have done blue glass. Or I could put like light blue stained glass inside it. I'll think about that. But anyways, this is what we got so far. Oh, I fell. Which is not bad. Hello, creeper. Die. wonder how many, let's see how many creepers I've killed so far. Uh, statistics, mobs. 2,696 creepers, and I've died 10 times by a creeper. I still have my plan on killing 10,000 creepers this season. That's that's my goal, and I'm and I'm and I'm a fraction of the way there. So that's what we got so far. I'm going to finish putting the glass in. Next time I see you, uh, we'll try to get some water in there. Actually, we'll, we'll put in the decorations inside it first, and I think I might take out this glowstone. I cut or uh, pff, glowstone, the stone brick. I kind of wanted to leave the glowstone brick in there as like a uh, I don't know, like a trim on it. I think I might take that out. God, I fell down, down again. Freaking A. All right, well, I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I just had Necro sleep really quick so we can get daylight, and it started to rain. So I come up with a couple ideas, and one of them, of course, is going to be some fish. So I want I got some item frames. I'm going to take some raw fish. That's the basic fish. <laughs> and Because uh, he, soy's a basic fish. You know what I'm saying? Um... And I uh, got it from a fishing shack here. So I got a couple ideas. Here's here's my ideas. Now, a long time ago, um, on a very old season of Mindcrack, there was a prank that I think Generic B did on um, on Doc M. And I'm going to see if this works. Just see if I remember how to do it. And I think it was something like this. I hear things creeping up on me. I think it was like this. Thank you, Necro, for doing that, by the way. Yeah, that. So it, it'll do this every once in a while. It, it'll burn itself out like that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing going on. I'm going to put a dispenser right here. Then inside there, I'm going to go grab some seeds, uh, some just normal wheat seeds from the farm over there. Rename them fish food. Put them into this thing. And then uh, let's wait here. I'll throw... I'll throw some fish in there, why not? That's convenient. And then, if if it works correctly, let's see if it does. Let's wait here for a second until it goes off again. Hmm. Okay, well, I waited, I, you notice I moved the, I moved the dispenser. This is usually the woodpecker, uh, you know, design like I usually, uh, it's usually that. And it usually has a glass block here and a note block here, which gives it the sound. And every once in a while this would burn out and it would click off like it does... Um, I don't really want to break it because I don't want to mess it up. It must have got fixed, though, is basically what I'm getting at. I don't think it works the same anymore because I've been waiting for this thing to go off again, and it hasn't. Now, I could set it up on, like, a timer, and every, you know, five minutes or whatever, it, it, it might go off. But I'm thinking whatever was going on here with the burning out shit, it must have got fixed because it was probably ended up being a problem on servers. People might have been setting setting this kind of stuff up like in mass quantities uh, to leg out servers. I can see that being a problem. So this isn't going to work, but what my plan was going to be was I was going to I was going to do this and then around it I was going to build like uh, a giant fish food. Oh! Did, did that update this? I might have updated. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm updating it. Okay, never mind. Just by doing that, I'm updating it. Never mind. So this won't work. But that was that was ah, that would have been a cool feature. I was gonna build like a uh, a fish food canister above it, and uh, every once in a while it would go off and uh, shake some fish food in there. So that's not gonna work. That's a bummer. So we're just gonna do the normal thing. We're just gonna build a fish in there, build some scenery. Also, that reminds me. Um, I'm not gonna put a tree in there. Instead, I'm going to use these coal blocks. And I'm going to build, like, a, uh, you know how boats have, like, uh, an anchor. I'm going I'm to build an anchor inside there, because that's kind of fitting for a fish tank. So let's see what we could do for an anchor. Where are we at? We at, like, right here. I think it goes up there, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll figure it out when I go there, of course. And have it really high in the middle here. Then probably dig it out like this. It looks more like an arrow, but uh, I don't know. I'll do I'll do some research and see what an anchor might look like. That's pretty good actually. 
maybe make it come out a little bit more and then have it go across on top so there'll be an anchor inside there which is pretty big now that i look at it hopefully we have some room and we'll build a fish in there and grab some item frames so we could put some fishes on uh the outside of the glass i'm pretty sure let's find out i'm pretty sure you can put item frames on glass otherwise this is going to be a problem because then i can't i can't do that either now do i have any solid glass blocks in my house anywhere i think i do don't i i think it might be all frames now i look at it by the way extra gold things for your help from necro a stack of gold blocks and i'm pretty sure i donated a stack of gold blocks to the <laughs> to the town hall so he might have not used them also this sign came to check it out it's an old design doesn't work now uh this was in the last episode um was going to be a spiral closing piston door and apparently it's out of date i did it, i did it right guys we spent a lot of time trying to figure it out i built it right it just simply does not work uh actually have glass on me what am i doing okay so if we have glass can we put item frames on it oh beautiful so it's going to be like this and a fish in there every once in a while just like that so i'm going to go over there and do that and then we will see what the final product looks like okay well that's slightly embarrassing and i'm also just realizing something um that's my fish oh horrible okay so th the point is he's gonna know it's a fish tank either by looking at it or by reading the sign hello zombie what do you got chicken egg for how long you been around you just pick that up you should drop that because we, we don't care for your kind around here oh we got a baby chicken too hello zombie villager die all right so Okay, so this is what I got so far. We got the glass all filled in, like I mentioned. So I'm pretty sure there are no leaks in here. And you can't really see it, but I did also build the anchor. The anchor is probably the best looking thing in the whole place. Uh, we can't really see it is the problem. Um, th so I think that's good for now. There's probably not room in here to build a tree, really. Um, also, what I mentioned I just realized is going to be an issue is uh, the eye on the fish. Yeah, I had it I had it as a coal block um, before and it just looked too big for an eyeball so I put an item frame in there with a coal block inside it which still looks like crap but it's a little bit better but now I'm realizing, realizing once I put water in there it's going to wash that away anyway so I'm just going to make it into a coal block again and then of course around the outside here I don't know why this, this is kind of a stretch doesn't really matter too much. I keep hearing footsteps. Is there somebody, is there a creep around here? I hear you creepy little footsteps. This is probably gonna look dumb too, but uh, you know, that, that's a big mama fish. Maybe like around here once in a while. Can I reach over there? We'll have these fishes in item frames. Maybe look like some little baby fishes swimming around or something. Ah, can you get in there? Mm, I'm trying to eat it. Don't eat it. Put it in the item frame. Oh, come on now. All right, get in there. There we go. There we go. So at nighttime, he's probably not going to see the anchor, unfortunately. But he'll probably, if he decides to clean it up, he'll probably see the anchor eventually. Hopefully, he comes here during the day, though. All right, let's take a step back and see how that looks with the little fishes in the item frames. Yeah, looks like garbage. Perfect. Okay. So the, the point is, he got pranked. The point is, he'll, he'll understand. I need to go back and get some wood, too. So now I'm going to hop in here and start the very, this is probably going to be the most tedious part, um, putting all the water in here. So I'm just going to start filling it in, I guess. All right, I'm just getting the last bit of ice down in here. And not being the most efficient with the ice placement, I just want to make sure that it is all source blocks. Because, you know, we don't want, we don't want a drowning pool. Oh, I fell. That's the first time I fell the whole time. I guess we can take a step back for a second just to see how it looks. Is that a leak? Oh, we got a leak. That's not good. All right, let's block up this leak real quick. Just right there. Is that it? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Right, let's take a step back, take a look at this. <laughs> you can't even see the fish in there. Maybe I should have picked a different color for the fish. Oh, that's a bummer. I did not think about that at all. Oh, man. That, that kind of sucks. You can't see anything in there. The, 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 oh, I fell down again. The water is too blue in Minecraft, guys. Mojang, uh, Microsoft, make, make the water a little less blue, a little lighter blue, maybe. That sucks. That completely, that completely bums me out. We can put some more item frames up there. I got a lot more item frames. Um, and then once he gets in there, I'm sure he'll see 
everything going on. Ah, that sucks. Is, is that a fail, guys? Let me know if that's a fail. Okay, so let's finish putting the water in here. Put some more item frames around here, too, just to make things uh, work out nicely. Don't fall. <laughs> Get back up there. Okay, so getting this all filled in, and then I'm going to go over to my house. I'm going to grab some uh, stuff for signs. I'm also, gonna, I'm also going to leave him some sand. Just to make things a little bit easier to clean up, if he so chooses to. If he doesn't, if he doesn't choose to clean it up, if he likes his fish tank, since he says he likes water so much, then then he just gets some free sand. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish doing this, and I will see you again in a second. Okay, so before we go back, I'm gonna try something. I have this yellow wool that we were going to use for the fish food container thing, and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to replace this blue wool with yellow wool see if we could see it a little bit better hopefully hopefully we do i'm just gonna leave all that blue wool down there i don't need it let it despawn all right let's hop down oops i need to take down that ladder too you know you still can't see anything in there i don't think the color of the things really matter too much so okay whatever that's a bummer okay i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing with the with the signs and put more item frames on here and yada 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 excuse me sir Excuse me, sir, you're in the wrong house. Can you please get out of my house? Ah. No ender pros at all, huh? Wonderful. Great thing. All right, so I'm back at my house now. I cleaned up my inventory a little bit. Um, so I decided I'm going to make the signs. Usually I do it out of wood. But I'm going to do it out of uh, some iron blocks and redstone blocks. Because, you know, candy cane colors. And, of course, signs. And then uh, decorate the outside of it, kind of border it with some trap doors. You might see what I'm talking about. Also going to bring over a few more of these, just in case I want to put some more of those up. I know I said I'd give them sand, but I'm going to give them gravel instead. Hopefully, hopefully five stacks will clear it out. It won't. But hopefully he figures out a good way to use it so it works out. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I have a crap ton of signs. And well, yeah. Tons. Okay, so I'm going to bring a stack of these over. And uh, we'll think of something to say. Was there anything else I wanted to bring up while I was here? Is there anything I need here? Probably not. Okay, let's go back over there now. Dang it. Man, that is an eyesore to walk into, isn't it? Does it look like a fishbowl? I mean, I guess it could sort of translate into a fishbowl. He'll get it once he reads the sign. So I put a few more on this side. And I also, I just remembered something. Um... There's a lot more angles you could put these at now. We have like every angle. It used to be just four angles you could change it in, but we can do all around. So we can make this fish swimming upside down going that way. Maybe that fish is going up like that. And we can get these swimming all different ways. And at the top, like this one, this one can be a dead fish. The ones floating at the top, those are dead fish. Sorry, Soy. I, I wasn't able to get the fish food here, so there's a couple dead ones. He's swimming up, this guy's swimming down, you know, this is kind of fun, this is kind of fun, hopefully it works out good, hopefully he appreciates my effort here, that guy's swimming straight on, alright, so where are we going to put the sign at, I don't even know what I'm going to say for the sign yet, I do know one thing I want to say, which is uh, something kind of clever, I think, alright, so with the sign, let's put the sign right here, and now I'm going to do like a little see how big can we make this do a little candy cane design kind of thing just a little kind of like we did with the doza craft sign but not as intense will, will it look stupid like this or should we do it like a two by two kind of thing we'll see all right how's that look so far that might look all right for a sign I'm like that Put a couple there one more there yeah, it's kind of Christmassy, right? I mean, th that might work. Sorry, Soy. I'm digging out a little bit of your dirt here. I guess that works. And then, then we take these guys and put them on the sides like that. I forgot the redstone activates it. That might look kind of cool. Uh, oops, maybe I should do it like this. Break that. Use an axe, Doza. Welcome to freaking Minecraft. Boom. Like that. I sh actually probably should get some slabs to put on top of here as well. Might look a little bit better. Oh, God, it's so difficult. These are supposed to be quick pranks. They're supposed to be short, quick videos of pranks. It's not really working out like that. Alright, I guess that's good enough. Alright, so now... I usually like to measure it out, too. Is, is that right? Oh, 
Hold on, I'm going to change it real quick. Let's see if this looks a little bit better. Yeah, I think I like how that looks a little bit better. Kind of big. I usually like to put as many signs as I can to try to fill in as much of the uh, the, the, the backboard of the sign as possible, but uh, we'll, we'll see how much we could fit into here. All right, let's get back up here. Get the signs out. Okay, so... Uh, where's the middle? Is there a middle? Let's do it right here. Hello, soy. It's the Christmas season. And I... Oops. It's Christmas season. Semicolon, maybe? No, comma. We'll go, we'll go comma. We don't got to be politically correct. Gra grammatically correct. Hello, soy. It's the Christmas season. And I want... And I want to... Include you in the five pranks of Christmas. I remember the last time we pranked you, you liked to rub oops, it in our faces that you, in fact, love water. So I built you a fish tank, complete with decorations. And last but not least, this is the part I'm excited for. Wait, let's get, let's get in the middle. Miney Craftmas. Huh? That's pretty good. Doza. There you go, Soy. So I hope you enjoy your prank, Soy. And like I said, like I mentioned, chances are most of these people will probably see this video before they actually see the prank itself, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. It might be a good thing in, in, in this case, because if he sees the video before, he'll understand that it's a fish tank. But if he finds it on his own, he might be like, what the hell is this all about? I probably should have mentioned that it was a fish tank in, in, the, in the signs. We'll, we'll put one more sign here. Uh, uh, P.S. It's a damn fish tank. Okay? There we go. <laughs> just to be clear. So there we go, guys. And just another thing I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, there's a lot of content going, going out this week. Every other day we have my single player series going up. Uh, I have a Minecraft Mayhem video going up sometime this week. An old, an old episode I haven't put up yet. Um... And then we're going to be doing these dailies for the next five days. So there's going to be a lot of content coming out. Please don't feel overwhelmed. I'm sorry if it is a little too much to keep up with. I know everybody has other people they watch on YouTube that can't spend all their time watching Doza Craft, which I, I wish you did. That would be very heartwarming if you did. But I hope you guys stay tuned. Please stay tuned for tomorrow where we prank somebody else. And if you're on the server and you record YouTube videos, you better watch your back because I might be coming for you. So mighty craftness, everybody, and I will see you in the next episode. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Peace the fuck out. <laughs>